morning guys and welcome back for a brand new travel vlog we've woken up today in italy and we are so excited to be here so i'm here with my friend sally who's in the background over there where's the dress from <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be lots of outfit of the days throughout this vlog yeah. honestly when i tell you the building we're in we are what are the words like ecstatic to be here i think it's insane like, I literally woke up this morning and I was like, I can't believe we're here. Just waking up and seeing the ceiling, it was just yeah. like, wow. So we've chose to come to a place called Lecce in Puglia. <laughs> Puglia? Yes. And we've come here basically because Sally comes here every single year with her family, don't you? Yeah. How do you describe it? It's just very authentic. Like, it's not touristy at all. But I just feel like all the buildings, you'll see it more in the vlog, I think. You'll probably feel more, won't you? Yeah. But, um, outside and everything, it's all like these kind of... Like, I don't want to say Roman, but it's like ruined building. Yeah. Like, have you shown the well? Oh no, I haven't actually. I'll show you this and then I'll insert the room tour which I filmed last night so you can see the whole place. So it's just like a well, it's like an old ruin, I think. It's been yeah. built on top of. But as you guys know, I've been to Italy. I'm just going to pop you here quickly. Yeah, I've been to Italy quite a few times, but I've only ever been to Milan and Rome, but a couple times to each place. And whilst I absolutely love them, they are just like hardcore city breaks. Like they're not really a break. And when I went to Rome, in all honesty, like you could be in London, like it doesn't feel like really traditional and everything like that. And for someone that claims they love Italy so much, I really wanted to come somewhere that was just more chilled and actually like authentic and not touristy at all. So I'm very excited to be here. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll roll the footage from last night, just so you can see like the apartment tour and where we're at and then I'll be back afterwards to commence the vlog. It's 12.41. I can't even begin to explain how happy we are with this. So this is the door as you come in. Just you wait guys, honestly. This is incredible. This is so much nicer than we ever envisioned. Honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is an Airbnb. I'll try and leave the information down below. I think we paid just under 400 pounds for four nights, which I think is absolutely exceptional for the time of the year and how stunning this is. And the lady that's just greeted us who owns this is so lovely as well. So yeah, we've got a living space. We've got a little kitchen area, like a kitchenette, this gorgeous table. And these rustic chairs which is gonna be so nice to have breakfast because we do plan on making like a little breakfast one day i love all these like cove detail and like the sandstone i think it's called and the ceilings like they are so high and just unreal aren't they yeah do a size comparison like just for some oh my god literally look at the size comparison like this is probably taller than a house. It's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? This bit leads to like a courtyard, but you can't actually get out there. It's just like bars sort of thing. Um, yeah, this is our little kitchen area. Some cleaning products. We've got an oven. We've got a fridge. We can make fresh coffee in the morning. I'm so excited for that. Oh my God. Oh, there's quite a lot going on. This is it from this side. We've got a nice little lounge, a TV. Stunning. And then you walk into the bedroom. And this is so spacious as well, isn't it? It's got a lovely wardrobe which we will fill in a second, probably unpack and just show you unpack in a minute. Yeah. Get prepared for the morning. Again, the beautiful high ceilings. So we've got a TV again, even a seat over there. And then here's the bathroom. Oh, it's really big as well. So this is the bathroom. The shower's its own like little room. And the tiles are stunning as well. How gorgeous is this? But it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there, look. We've even got our own little courtyard. So this is basically like, it's open, but it's enclosed at the same time. And we can't wait to sit here and have breakfast in the morning. It's gonna be unreal. We've even got an outside sink and a washer dryer. How happy are we with this? 10 out of 10. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't believe it. This is huge. So it's now 
one in the morning and we've just unpacked everything so that we can wake up tomorrow nice and organized. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of everything. I have already filmed a pack with me video, so I'm gonna link that down below if you wanna check it out and see exactly what I'm bringing on this trip. But I have added a couple new bits in. But just to give you a quick little rundown, I've bought some floral prints with me, which I don't normally wear floral, but this year for some reason I'm obsessed with it. So this dress and then this dress is from Shein. If you've seen this dress already you know how much I'm in love with it. You can see it later on in the vlog when I try it on and I also got it in this print as well which literally arrived yesterday so I thought I have to bring that with me. I then have this dress which you can't tell at all what it looks like but I thought this print was just quite like Italian. I think it would look really nice. And then I've just got two shirts from H&M and then Zara. I'm pretty sure 90% of Sally's items are also from Zara. And then everything here is folded up so all this stuff is in the style it's a really nice like green print and this is all beach wear this is also beach wear and so is this this is another dress i've got all my accessories shorts we've popped shoes and bags down there and underwear so yeah we've organized everything quite nicely i think i'm really happy that we've got it all sorted and then we've just put our little beach bags there and we've popped everything we need in the bathroom which you know this space isn't going to look as good but it's just reality isn't it it's how it's got to be I've also been prepared and bought paracetamol with me and some plasters because I feel like I always need them when I go away. That is it guys. We're gonna have a shower now and cool down and then get a good night's sleep and the holiday vlog will properly commence tomorrow. So I'll see you then. I also thought this was very cute. So I was getting my hair extensions out my bag and I saw, saw Lola's toy wrapped up in it and I was like, oh my God, how's that got caught in the hair extensions? And then there was a note with it and it's from Jordan and Lola. So I thought that was very sweet. Is anyone else the same as me and just wants to eat the snacks <laughs> that are there? So we've got these, which are little breadsticks. And then we've got lots of biscuits. She's left us three packets of biscuits, which I can't wait to try. But I have just opened these little breadsticks. But I need to show you them, guys. Because look, it looks like a normal breadstick. I mean, it looks like a mini baguette. It's so cute. But just you wait. Can you see? It's like a breadstick inside the breadstick. The only way it could be better is if the one inside tasted like cheese, that would just be 10 out of 10. But these are pretty unreal, I have to admit. They're gorgeous. So I'm back in at the present time now. So it's our first day today. It's Thursday, it's nine o'clock. We were up until like two in the morning because it was such a late like fly and by the time we got through security and everything, it took forever. But we're feeling all right today. I think it always is like that when you go on holiday because you're just excited to explore. So yeah, we're both really hungry. We're off for some breakfast. We need our morning coffee and just ready to explore the first town. We're gonna be going to like different places each day. So we're gonna go to a beach one day, go to another town another day. So we're gonna be taking around all of like the Puglia area, exploring, which I just can't wait. So we've just come for breakfast for our first stop of the day and look how cute this is guys we've got little mini rolls i think one of them's chicken or oh, that one looks like ham actually what's this on salami and cheese chicken we can just i think we're just going to share them and try them all to be honest and we've got fresh orange juice in these nice glasses and we're just waiting for our iced coffees now honestly this is perfection it's so nice Hey again guys, so we've just got back from breakfast and it is so hot today and I was really uncomfortable because I had these really tight shorts on so I've just got changed into a dress, it's really cute, I really like it and Sally's just having another shower because it's actually that hot. It's still only 10.59 so the day is going quite slow which is nice. We're going to go out, get some iced coffee in a second and then we are going to go to a supermarket and get all nice bits because we want to have some cute like little snacks to take with us tomorrow to the beach and we also want to have some bits to cook breakfast tomorrow as well because we've got the lovely space outside here and we've got the little kitchenette so it'd be nice to get some like, authentic nice Italian food and actually make our own meal so I'm really looking forward to that but honestly that breakfast was insane and it was only 13 euros like that is so ridiculously cheap like if that was in Rome that would have been probably 30 euros so yeah the prices here I think are going to be a lot more affordable my first impressions are like I'm blown away it's so cute it's just so so nice here is the dress that I've got changed into I think it's really cute it's got these little cutouts I need something floaty
guys, we're in the park. What is this park called? I've no idea. I'm not even really sure. It's like a little ruined place that they just sort of built around. It is so hot as well. Like, but it's a different kind of heat when you're abroad, isn't it? 35 degrees. I feel like I'm dying. We have to go home and have a shower and get changed. Yeah. <laughs> we're just off to a supermarket now and then we'll come back. So when we get back, we'll do a little haul of what we got. Honestly, this park is so nice. I feel like we'll definitely probably come and sit here for a few hours at one point. We're in the supermarket now and we're just getting some bits for breakfast and honestly the selection is insane like there's so much stuff oh my god they've even got like pizza bases down here look like thin crispy pizza bases but we're going to get some ham for our brekkie for tomorrow and just deciding what ham to get i feel like maybe something like this or what do we fancy I'm thinking the chicken one was quite nice oh yeah we could get one of those. Maybe some cheese slices as well. Everything abroad is just better, isn't it, than the UK? Instead of butter, we're gonna get like Philadelphia. I feel like that's gonna go, it'll work. Yeah. I reckon it'll work. We're getting our juices now. We get orange. I think that one's grapefruit. And then they've got loads of coffee things. I think these are like, these are coffee creamers, look. I reckon that's like a sweet coffee creamer. And they've got, mmm. We're at the cheese counter. Look at this. It looks insane. Guys, the technology here is technology. <laughs> Look at this. It's lifting our basket up for us. Honestly, we're so excited by everything we've got. And it's ridiculously cheap. What do we guess this is going to come to? I'm going to say 22 euros. I'm going to say about 25. Maybe. 25. We have just got back from the supermarket and it came to. 26 pounds so for breakfast tomorrow we want to do basically what we had earlier so we've got these little mini croissant things still like bread rolls so sweet but we ended up getting oh, yeah. into buying that the yeah. woman stopped us and was like she just like shoved it in our face like here she basically came with a little knife so <laughs> we thought it was like a free sample and then we saw it basically said like on special offer and then we were like no we're not gonna buy it and then we thought actually we'll probably like it anyway for our sandwiches we got some lettuce it's a bit weird to have lettuce in the morning but here it's normal isn't it yeah Sal is it salami yeah salami and chicken slices oh we got burrata which is actually amazing and it was only one pound fifty that's so cheap because on the label it said like 13 euros yeah but it was like per kilogram and i was like oh, i'm trying to work it out but yeah it's obviously way enough it's like mozzarella Peaches, Fanta, Fanta, fresh orange juice. Well, within reason, fresh orange juice. Red Bullio. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, guess in the comments, please. Pause the video and guess how much you think this was. This massive bottle of iced peach tea. It was one euro ten. One euro ten. So ridiculous. Because you picked up a small one. It was like one, one euro ten. Yeah. 80. Oh, and this hairspray. One euro ten. I've got these as well, the cheese and the milk oh, yeah. buns. We've got some milk for our coffee. And of course some Lay's, because who doesn't get Lay's when you're in here? Honestly, we are sweltering. So we're gonna pop all this stuff in the fridge now. We've got some ice that's ready. It's much later in the day, we had to admit, we had a little siesta, didn't we? It was actually encouraged by Sally. <laughs> the, the nap. Oh, God, I overslept. <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, I'm not going to sleep too long because I don't want to, you know, be awake all night. And then an hour passes and I'm thinking, she's out for the count. Like, this is ridiculous. Then I eventually fell asleep myself. And then over two hours later, I'm like, are you awake? I think she's went, mm. And then I was thinking, oh my god, am I going to have to like, push out or something? <laughs> and you eventually I woke up. I'm a new woman. I was like, 
Thank Christ. I was panicking thinking, is this the night over before it's even began? <laughs> I but, think yeah. we didn't really sleep. We didn't sleep till late last night. We got up quite early. Yeah. Today's gone really slow though, which has mm. been quite nice. So it feels like we've had like two days. In oh yeah, it definitely where we has. Up with a nap, so that's definitely needed. But yeah, we're off out for some dinner now. I'm hoping to have something like pasta. Here's our outfit. This is a dress from Shein. I really like it. It's the same as that other one I've got, but in a different colorway. And then this is Sally's outfit. It Zara. is from Zara. Zara, Zara, Zara. What is that TikTok again? Uh, Zara. Oh, yeah, oh you know Zara. the one I want to know. <laughs> Your whole wardrobe is Zara. I feel like mine is as well. Yeah. This is our outfit. Like, you just always find something on there. But, anyways, I'm going to leave my camera here because I can't be bothered for another thing to potentially lose or leave somewhere. But I don't think we're going to drink tonight. No, I actually don't think we are because we're going to go to the beach tomorrow. Maybe one. Maybe one, maybe two. I'm at one. Yeah. If anything goes off, we'll vlog it on the phone. But, yeah, the camera will stay put here tonight. So I will see you guys properly in the morning. It is Friday today and we are off for a beach day. Gallipoli. Gallipoli is where we're going today. About an hour on the bus from here and we were in Lecce. So yeah, we got up bright and early. I say that, it was about half seven we got up. We just had breakfast, which you would have seen, which was really nice. Tried to replicate what we had yesterday. And Sally's inspired me to do a French plait. I don't know if you can see it, but I saw hers and I was like, actually, I'm not gonna have my hair down today because it's humid and it needs a wash, so let's just put it up like this. I've not done my hair like this in literally years. I'm really obsessed with this little outfit I've got from In The Style. It's just a really cute set. Also the cover-up, also the trousers, and then the high-waisted bottoms. So yeah, I feel comfortable in this. It is hot again today. It's very humid. I keep waking up with like a bit of a sore throat and headache from the aircon. It is what it is. So yeah, I'll probably, I think I will take you guys to the beach with me on this camera, just because it's a bit better quality. So we'll see you there. We're at the beach now guys and it is hot. It is hot. We've just been in the sea very briefly. Got very sandy feet. And I slipped and it kind of really hurt actually. And Sally's got a blister. So we've decided to come back down and sit down for a bit. How many days you have here? Sally's buying some necklaces. Yeah, I can put. Yeah. She's buying this one and then this one with little Hearts all over it, but there's loads, loads to choose from. So I've just got us a cocktail. I asked for something strawberry, and I think they've made a strawberry sex on the beach. Oh, okay. Quite a few different things went into it. <laughs> just my head. That's actually really nice. Is it? Yeah. Let's try it. Quite strong though. Yeah, it's quite strong. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, that is strong. They're not tight on the measures here, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Must only be England. It's lovely. It's all like white and blue, yellow. It's 
really cute. But when I looked at the coastline, it's actually like right by the coast and then across is Greece, isn't it? Yeah. So that's probably why you have that sort of Greece sort of vibe. That went down a street. First one down, second to go. <laughs> we finished our drinks, just got us another one. This one, I think it's meant to be, they said you want coconut, but we're thinking it tastes quite pineapple-y. We've got a dilemma though, guys. Basically, the um, card machine here isn't working because there's work's been done up the street. And they said it should be working by three and it's one o'clock. I'm hungry for lunch now. We've run out of cash, so we don't know what to do. Because we don't really want to walk like 20 minutes to an ATM because we've got to walk back and stuff. It's just long. At the same time, it's we don't want to rush to leave, do we? Because it's nice. So we could spend all day here, like it's really chilled. I don't think we should leave, only because if we go back, we're not going to be doing anything. There's no. It's too hot to walk around. Yeah, definitely. At least here we've got breeze and we can dip in the, in the yeah. sea. <laughs> we're not being sold something else today. Sally's already bought bracelets. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> probably cost about 40p on Sheen. Yeah. No, thank you. Good morning. On YouTube. <laughs> I can't even see what I'm filming. Bonjour, monsieur. Huh? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're good. Afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. <laughs> We've gone from 10 euros to now we can pay 2 euros. Yeah. We've only got 4 euros left. It was very good. <laughs> very good, 10 euros. 10 euros, we don't have 10 euros. We've got 4. Yeah. This is Sally's response. Oh, I can't We don't have money. <laughs> How are you doing under there? <laughs> Ten minutes later, we've shown that our cash supplies are at an all-time low and we're still being pounded. We're in the sea. Drank a lot of salt. <laughs> yeah, drank a lot of salt. What am I doing in America now? <laughs> Your necklace? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's not you. That's me. Why is it <laughs> Oh. Big up Sally's necklace. We're in the sea and it's lovely. <laughs> it's a rocky journey. The waves coming after us. I never used to go in the sea because of my eczema, so we'll have to see how I get on today. <laughs> it's meant to be good for your eczema though. And this is our little restaurant here, up here somewhere. <laughs> 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 We're back on the table, we can't really see ya. Right guys, it's now nearly three o'clock in the afternoon, we've just got ourselves a mojito. And we just had some lunch. I had calamari and chips, although they were like 10 out of 10, weren't they? They were so good. They were like unreal. Fish. And then you had fish we salad. Have, I had seafood a salad. Seafood salad, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it's so effing hot. What we've decided, we're going to stay here till, what time are we going to get the bus? Probably about five. Five. So we're going to have to leave here at half four. So we've got an hour and a half. So we're gonna get in the pool, in the pool, no we're not, we're gonna get in the sea in a second, we're gonna drink these first, we can feel Being it. a little bit wavy, not gonna lie. I mean the vlog now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at the colour of me and the colour of you, oh. I look really red. <laughs> I've been in the shade the whole day, because yeah, I don't it. tan, so there's no point. But yeah, we're gonna get back in the sea in a second, and then, yeah, we're gonna head, I don't know, I feel like we're putting out after dinner at eight tonight. Yeah. We might have some beverageinos. Beverageinos. Yeah, beverageinos. <laughs> I'm stuffed at this point, to be fair. We did have a late lunch, so probably we had these. Have... We've eaten like half a pack. Oh, no, God. in fact, there's hardly any left. <laughs> You've had the majority. <laughs> they were really nice. Yeah. The Pringles paprika. We were also saying, well, I was saying, what, what the hell oh, is in paprika? Watched. Who buy it? I was watching us for a second. I looked what, at that him one and he with the bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> people don't get it here though. So no, they're probably it's funny not used because to I it. just stare, like when people stare, I just stare at them and then they get intimidated and they look away. Yeah, because earlier in the supermarket on the way here, 
obviously we were in our swimwear we did have like i had beach trousers and a beach top on it was a wrap over so you could still see a tiny incy wincy being a bit of cleavage and a woman just looked at me like and i went not like that it wasn't fake smile like i did actually do a smile and she was just like I was like, alright, oh, Yeah, they don't smile at you here. Like, you so have to, rude. You cause... either talk to them and they don't, and they smile. Or, or they don't engage yeah. with you at all, yeah. But they, honestly, like, we were saying, like, we've never been to, like, Ibiza or Dubai or anywhere. Like, well, I mean, you've been to both Dubai, but we've never been to, like, these proper beach clubby places. And I don't think I'd want to. Like, somewhere like this, there's no one major here. Not in a rude way, but, like, it's just chilled. No one's looking at you, judging you. You don't feel... Like you don't I mean, care what you look like, do you? Shape and size. It's no nice. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it's it's nice. Like I wouldn't want to be somewhere where I've got to feel all like I've got to suck myself Conscious, in. And yeah. we we like the body body positivity vibes around here. But yeah, we're gonna finish our mojitos and then dip in the Cheers sea. To that. Hey guys, I completely forgot to vlog for the rest of the day, so I do apologise. We just had a nice time. We got back in the sea after you saw us. My phone got completely soaked and it wouldn't charge for hours. And then I pretty much fell asleep on the bus or the coach on the way back. As you can see, I'm very burnt. This is, it's quite painful, I'm not gonna lie. We're both burnt, aren't we? And I can't stop sneezing. <laughs> I'm having a sneezing attack for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is our looks of a night. Zara, Zara, is it all Zara? Yeah. Oh my god. And Zara, Zara, Amazon Beth. <laughs> what was that? Is that a bird? I'm like swallowed at the same time I'm talking. Um, Amazon Bell, I've got this <laughs> necklace off the beach today. Yeah. Oh, I've got this top on back to fun. It's one of those. Oh, it looks nice like that. Um, yeah, chucking my flag on Beth and stops. What are you wearing? This dress is my arm sheen. And then I've just got my little white bag. I don't normally wear stuff like this, I'll be honest. It does look really nice though. I think where I'm so burnt as well, I just wanted to get some air to my skin. Yeah. But yeah, I never have all this out normally, but I think where you've got these little arm bits, it kind of, it's better. It, I don't know, it makes it a bit more yeah, pretty. And also I never wear floral. Pink, but... that makes it not look so burnt. Yeah, yeah, this is the outfit. So I probably won't bring the camera with me again just because there's no point, but will take you to dinner on my phone. I feel like this vlog's probably getting quite long already, to be fair. It never feels like it is when you're talking to the camera, but you've got to think every single clip we do is like a couple minutes. Anyway, see you in a bit. Does she notice The things I notice how we feel right now doesn't it we went out for dinner and i think where we just got heat stroke and that we just weren't feeling it we got wine and then we didn't want to drink it we both like, had a sip and i was like yeah we paid for a whole bottle yeah <laughs> and we only had well you didn't even drink i bottle, literally had a okay. sip yeah the food was nice but i found it really salty but i don't know if that's where i just feel a bit I don't know if I'm too overheated and that, but I found yeah. it really salty and I drank like all my water and I was still gasping and then you were getting really hot, weren't you? I was so hot and frozen there. But look, oh my god, look. Oh wow, it looks worse than it did earlier. <laughs> yeah, we just decided to call it a night. Like we felt a bit boring, but at the same time we've been out all day today and we don't need to have loads of drinks to have a good time. And we had some earlier, so whatever. <laughs> so yeah, we're back. It's not even 10 o'clock. I'm just gonna get ready for bed, chill, maybe put something on the TV and Tomorrow's just gonna be a bit more of a leisurely day, I think. We're gonna like go to some shops, get some bits, stuff like that. Good morning, good morning. It's our last full day today. Just left the apartment. 
It's actually quite late in the day. It's 10 past 12, which is the latest by far that we've come out. We've had breakfast at the apartment and now we're just going to do a little bit of walking and shopping. I think we're gonna head to Zara and like the little souvenir shops and get some bits and pieces to take back for our loved ones. It's quite a nice breeze actually today. I put my hair up in a French plait again just because it is just hot and humid and I couldn't be bothered to curl it and have it down. We always know what street we're down because this, you saw what was all over the walls. Gross. It's one thing, isn't it? It spoils the beautiful buildings. But yeah, it's hot again today. I think it's meant to be one of the hottest days today. You keep seeing this little bookshop and we think that's so cute. This is the little square that we walk past every single day. Honestly, the location we've stayed at, if you do come here, you need to stay at the same place because it's perfect. It's just so close to everything. We've just popped into Bershka, which I've never shopped in before, I don't think. And it's got a massive sale on, so we're just trying some bits on. Look, 15, 99 euros. Got this really cute top. I haven't got any room in my suitcase, so I don't know how I think I'm gonna take this home with me, but hopefully I'll find at least something I like. We'll have to just squeeze it in the hand like it somehow. So this is the first thing I tried on. I think it is really cool, like with this bit that comes down. It's kind of like in between a trench and a little crop razor, but it's actually really small. We picked the largest up and it's quite tight, so it's a no from me, but I do love it. I love the colour. We've come to McDonald's to get a drink. Thought we'd show you the menu, because I think there's going to be a lot better stuff in the UK. So let's have a look. I don't think I've ever had a McDonald's abroad, you know. Right. Let's have a look. Pesto chicken, Mediterranean chicken, pesto wrap. What else do they have? Cheesy chips. Cheesy chips. What's on this? Italian, whatever that is, tomato and mozzarella, chicken wings, baby baby carrots, random. Parm is that? Like a cheese block? Oh my god. A cheese block? What um, McFlurries do they have? Pist oh my god, pistachio McFlurry, Smarties, Snickers, Oreo, whatever that one is, like a chocolate one. Sandwiches. Hot beverages. Oh my god, look. What? Cakes, croissants, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> How bougie McDonald's! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Iced coffee, coffee cream. Oh, should we get that? Yeah. Mmm. Excited now. We just went for the fries in the end. They're really good. It's like cheeseburger, like cheese almost yeah. melted over it. They're really it's nice. It's quite strong as well, actually. Yeah, it's, it's good. Calm it down. How fancy is this for McDonald's in a little glass? In a little glass? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's like a ice cream sort of coffee, isn't it? Mm. Give it a try. Mmm. It's good. Ooh. Nice. Do you like it? It's sweet, yeah. It's not what you'd expect. Did you expect it to be like this? It's nice. We're now in Zara and I found this gorgeous dress. So I picked it out in pink and then also in cream. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards the cream. I was gonna try those on. I didn't get anything in Bershka, by the way. And then I've got this linen oops, trouser and a little waistcoat set. because I wanna try one of these on, I never have before. So let's give it a try. So this is what it looks like on. The top is in a medium. It's a tiny little bit tight around the boobies. And then the trousers are, the trousers are in a large, but there's like loads of room. Here's the dress. I do find it really comfy, but I don't think it's very flattering. I feel like it's making me look very boxy. You can't really like tighten it enough because then it pulls like the back around. So we went to McDonald's, got ourselves, I got iced tea. We've also gone to Zara as well. And honestly, I feel like I'm moaning, but it's just, it's just too hot. Um, most of the shops are shut as well. because we were thinking about going and doing a little bit more shopping, but nothing's really open. I think it's there like siesta sort of time. So we're gonna head back to the apartment and I think it doesn't help where we've got like sunburn and that as well because I think we're already kind of like overheating. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the apartment on the route. We're gonna try and find somewhere that just does like mini pizza slices because like whilst we're here, we wanna have some of the pizza. And then I think we're just gonna chill for a bit, maybe get a few pictures and then slowly get ready for this evening and then we'll go out later tonight and then by then it'll cool down a little bit.
been chilling out for a few hours and now we are shooting content. We're just wearing outfits we didn't get a chance to wear yet. And we're just shooting them literally down our street. Like literally, we were saying this is an influencer street in this street because there's so many nice little doors like this. And just, yeah, like cute steps and everything. And you can just get loads of different backgrounds all down the same street. And you can even take them yourself, like if you've got a tripod. So it's great. We've just realized this vlog is way too professional. Ooh. We were just <laughs> laying here moaning like the moaners we are. And then we just, Sally said, look at all the random shit we've got all over the bed. We've got a little saucepan <laughs> with crisps. Give them a bit of context. Cause oh yeah, because we wanted a bowl and there wasn't a bowl. <laughs> so we used a little saucepan. About five pounds, <laughs> water, amazing. water, water, tags, handbags, underwear, <laughs> hanger, a clip, it's all going on. We got hair down there that scared Sally earlier. We got shit everywhere. <laughs> but it's six o'clock and we're, our last dinner is booked for eight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so if you're going to come here, do not come here during a peak wave. It's made it very difficult. We have enjoyed yeah, ourselves. We were just saying, like, it's just, it's hard. Like, it's so unbearably hot. You feel sick all the time, don't you? Yeah, we keep getting waves of, like, being sick. Yeah, we keep getting Not waves. Not being sick, but feeling <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah, like, we've, I've been drinking so much water, and it just, I don't know, it's just not enough. Um, but I'm so happy we've had this nice apartment because it's made it all the better because like, at least when we're relaxing yeah. We're somewhere we really like to be like it's we're, we've got the most out of it haven't we? Yeah, because we were saying earlier about um, I don't know what my makeup if it's run under my eyes or not. Oh, it has a little bit no, um, But yeah, we were saying earlier about Sometimes people like always moan about oh, yeah, but we're not gonna stay in the place so much So you don't need to worry about what it looks like, but I'm yeah. glad we did actually look a bit like book somewhere decent. Yeah, book somewhere Because we have chilled here quite a lot, especially during the daytime. Like, because they yeah. have siesta here, you kind of need that little bit to break up the day because the shots are shut and everything anyway. Yeah, like, there's not much to do, is there? No. Especially because it's a small town as well. It's not like there's... Yeah. Well, today's like the only day we've really done not, like, not a lot. Back, yeah. I mean, the first day we did have that nap. We did have a siesta. Oh, night. yeah. You had a bloody over two hours siesta. Yeah, basically had a nice sleep. <laughs> yeah. He woke up and thought it was a new day nearly. And then I was laying there like hoping to fall asleep for a whole hour. And you just and then I had a shower in that. And yeah. then I finally fell asleep. Yeah, we were up last night talking till two in the morning. We were going down a right rabbit hole, weren't we? With random stories yeah. and tangents. It was, it was nice though. I was we, much happier we doing that than drinking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm glad we didn't drink. No. We felt like shit this morning. Yeah. It's annoying because I, I wanted to drink this holiday at, at least once, maybe, but I don't, we both just don't want to, like we just... Yeah, we had a bit too... of a heat stroke, well not even a heat stroke, I think we just got, like where we just felt so hot, it's hot anyway, the air mm. humid, and then we were out for dinner and we just feel like we were forcing it, because we bought a bottle of wine, and look at the colour of me, I look like, <laughs> an, I look like an absolute lobster. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we were just like over it, weren't we? Yeah. We, just like, oh, we, just we took a sip around. and we just couldn't. But it's, it's weird though, because like we've actually been happy not drinking, but like, you know, obviously when you go on holiday, you expect to at least have a night where you drink. Yeah, it's been nice though, like just chilled. Yeah, but it's, I don't really feel like it's that sort of place. Like when you go to a busier city, like when I went to Rome, like Budapest, one of the nights, like both trips, I did have like quite a few drinks then. It was nice, but mm. it's different because it's a big city, there's proper bars, there's clubs and all that, whereas here it's not like that. Mm. So it's a lot more of a chilled sort of vibe, which is nice to be yeah, fair. It's what we great. needed. Like, I've not had a chilled break in a long time so yeah you were saying it feels like a proper break so. yeah like actually i'm winding whereas the last yeah. like four or five trips i've done have all just been like intense city breaks yeah. so this this has been really nice to be fair we're ready to go for our last dinner this is the makeup i've literally just touched up what i already had on i've just undone my french plat and just got like waves and i've tied half of it up and then this is my dress it's the same as one that i wore earlier on in the week but it is the different colorway. I love this one. I think it's really guy and cute. Um, so yeah, we're off out for dinner. I think it's quite a fancy, like nice little place. And we're gonna hit up some shops as well to try and track down some like biscuits or something I can take home. Probably not gonna bother with chocolate because I think it's just gonna melt in all honesty, but it's a nice little Italian biscuits. I think we'll, be, I think we'll go down and treat with my mum and dad and Jordan. So yeah, and that is my plan of action.
So we're back from dinner. I thought I'd just quickly end this vlog here, guys, because it's about half past nine now. Our flight tomorrow is at, I think it's about half 12 in the afternoon. So we're basically gonna get up early, just head to the airport, get some food there, and then head off home. Quite looking forward to getting home. It's been really nice, but it has been very hot. Um, and yeah, I'm, I much prefer like going home in the morning than the evening because I feel like you just wait around. Like once you check out of your place, you kind of just, you know, you're like lingering around and we just can't do that in this heat. So yeah, I'm grateful we booked a earlier flight. I think that's the only one they have actually. Cause not many flights out here. There's like one flight a day, I think at most. So yeah, anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'll try and leave information on the screen or down below if I can. And I'll see you next time. Bye.